Hi guys, it's me. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick. It's like 12 in the morning, like 12, 12 a.m. So the lighting sucks. I look a wreck, whatever. Uh, but I wanted to hop on here and film this video quick because uh, tomorrow I have a meeting at work. So I'm going to be using the stuff. Is that the iPad reflecting? Oh, that's nice. Um, sorry. Uh, but I have a meeting at work. So the stuff that I'm about to show you I'm using tomorrow. So I wanted to quick do this video before that. So I got in the mail. I ordered this last week. It said three day shipping and it just showed up today, which is Thursday that it came. Um, so anyways, it's from Sephora. I already opened it because, you know, who the heck wants to wait when you get this box? And of course I jumped on the bandwagon and was like everybody else and I'm sure you all know what's going to be in here. It is the Naked 3. I'm super excited. I don't own the 1 and 2, so this is fun. Um, but I'll quick show you all the extra little stuff uh, that I got in the box before that. So this is uh, from December 1st to January 1st, save an extra 20% off sale items. A little cold. Then we have Most Loved Scents. And there's, um, I assume, little scent samples. Yep. We've got Amazing Grace. We've got Viva La Juicy Noir. We've got Marc Jacobs Daisy. And then Lancome. I'm kind of excited to try out that Grace, Amazing Grace, because my daughter's name is Grace, and I kept thinking about buying it. Anyway, moving on. For my samples, and I think this, okay, I think this was a 100 point perk. This is from Buxom. Take me for a spin. Color choreography eyeshadow and hold the line waterproof liner. I can open this. Um, so there's the little shadows and here is the liner. <coughs> and does the liner have a color? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Call me. And it's just black. Amazing. So that is cute. I haven't tried much of their stuff other than what I get in Ipsy, so try that. Then I got NARS Tinted Moisturizer in Alaskan in Alaska light too. Okay. And Clinique's Super Primer. And then Stay Flawless by Benefit. This is a 15 hour primer as well. And does it have a shade? I don't have, well it's a primer I guess it really doesn't matter, huh? Okay, so who cares about that stuff, right? That's not why you're watching your video, this video. You're watching it because of this. So let's go ahead and open this. Got the palette and then inside here we have Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in four different shades. Eden, Original, Sin, and Anti-Aging. And they're just these little pod things. So, and it says on here, where did I see that? I think the pod was supposed to last like a few Quite a few tries. I can't remember. But anyway, whatever. Here is the palette. Metal case. Go ahead and pop it open. And here it is. Try not to blind you all. So, you can... Well, that is interesting. Has anybody seen it? This is popping right up. That's interesting. I have like two Urban Decay palettes, but they're the small ones, like the Skull and one other one, but they're just little ones. I haven't, like I said, I don't have that. That's that's not cool. Oh, let's see here. There's what just fell out. 
Rupert K, if you're watching this, I'm not impressed with that. I will have to glue that back in. I wonder if any other ones fall out. No. Okay, so black heart fell out. And it is a shimmery shimmer. Try and kind of put that back in. So I'll kind of try and scoot up here and do a close up. I'm not very happy with that. Anybody else just fall out like that? Let me know. Um, so we have Strange Dust, which I'm trying to figure out a good angle here. That one's shimmer. This one's a matte. This one's shimmer. Burnout has a little shimmer in it. Uh, Limit is a matte. Buzz is a shimmer. Trick is a shimmer. Nooner is a matte. Liar. Factory. Mugshot. Those are all shimmers. We have Dark Side. And then, of course, the one that jumped out at me. Black Heart. Uh, it comes with this brush, dual sided brush. I don't own any of their brushes, so this will be uh, nice to try. Get the smaller end on this side. On that side, so I can sneak it back in there. Now, the reason I got this palette was two reasons. One is I had a fifteen dollar code, so I did not pay the fifty two dollars. I got it with shipping for like thirty eight or something. Does it tell me on here? Of course not. It doesn't. Anyway. Um, and I liked this one because of the rose gold tones to it. Um, I'm not a strict, like, deep black or anything. So, uh, look at that. These are very, I mean, just one swipe and you're like, you've got the color on you. Uh, let's try this limit. Let's see what that looks like. That's nice and strange. Well, that's going to be a nice, nice highlight. Um, so, they're very pigmented, I feel. Um, definitely looking forward to trying this palette. And again, I'm going to be using it tomorrow to try and create a new look. So, hopefully, um, everything goes well. And I'm going to have to find some glue and glue back in Black Heart. I can't believe it fell out like that. That's. I was kind of sad for a pet like this. You wouldn't expect it to fall out like that. Oh, I didn't get a quiver. And because it fell out, I got stuff everywhere. I mean, I've already got this thing around, but... Oh, man, that makes me sad. I'm into crayon. What's going on? Oh, and then it doesn't want to shut. Look at this. Jeez. Are we shut now? Hmm. I feel like you could tell, too, like this... Let's see if I can pop it out. Oh, look, now it doesn't want to come out. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell. Probably not. Oh, there you can. You can see right where my finger went. Like, I got the first thin layer off there, and I did touch up around the corners. So I wonder how this is going to fare as you're using them. You can tell which ones I... Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. We will see. We'll see what happens with the shimmery ones. Like I said, I do have two of their tissue. I got stuff all over me. Um, let's see what happens when I swatch one of these other shimmery ones. Let's see. Let's go with this one here because it's dark. Let's see. Can you tell? No. It did go off quite well, though. No, but that black heart really... Hmm, interesting. And then, like I said, it doesn't want to... There we go. Well, it's secure when it's shut, that's for sure. I don't know, I'm kind of... Whoops, I didn't mean to bump that. There's me the tissue. Um, first impressions just with the construction of it, I'm not too excited about. I, like I said, I have a few other Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. 
just smaller ones. Um, and they're in cardboard and seem to be better quality than this. And this is more, I don't know. I'm hoping the color payoff is good because I can look past the bad packaging, I guess, if the color payout is good since I did not pay full price for this. Um, so that is my reveal. Uh, if you guys have had an issue with your color staying in or whatever, or the box kind of, you know, I understand you want to secure, but I don't know, that time it kind of closed better. Maybe it's just, yeah, there we go. Maybe it just needed to get worked out. Who knows? And then on the side it says Urban Decay. I'm sure you all know that. Um, let's, uh, let's hope this goes better. No black heart staying in. How funny. Just need to re be reminded where it belongs. Alright guys, see you in my next video.